Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Matthew Smith here. I don't know why, but I'm just maneuvering around random cameras in the newsroom. It looks busier when I do these things. Hey, we've got a number of uh, developing stories that we're tracking for you right now. I'll get to those in just a second, but it's that time of year. We all want to know about the weather. Yesterday, we had the warm-up. Today, I'm guessing the cool down, but will it go that much cooler? Yeah, we're just going to be stuck in the 30s, I think, today. But the thing is, it'll never feel as warm as the thermometer says just because of the wind. It's it's not much now, but it's going to kick up during the morning. So probably going to have gusts up to 45 miles per hour out of the northwest. So wow. We'll be having that. Could even see some flurries this morning, but this is it. I think for immediate travel anyway for the... Thanksgiving holiday and then towards Friday as well looking pretty good, but uh, it's the East Coast is probably going to have big problems. They got that big snowstorm. You might even be talking about it. We will be talking <laughs> about that. He's a guru. He knows. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about the East Coast. I think uh, they're getting snow showers a little bit later in the afternoon from what yeah, we're here. Yeah, should. It's rain right now and it's, it's places where it's 50 right now. It'll probably be snowing by the end of the day. Gotcha. And so. because of that, they're already having preemptive cancellations on uh, some of those flights. Uh, I'm going to be tracking those. They had over 200 already shut down by midnight. So as a lot of you have been sleeping, I've been keeping track of them using Flight Aware. It's a nice uh, software program and uh, internet site. Uh, the misery map, as I like to call it, it is popping already. So I'll get you caught up. The good news, as of right now, as I make this video, no cancellations tied to Omaha. But a lot of those preemptive closures are tied to New York and New Jersey. So if you're heading way out on the East Coast, Keep that in mind. Uh, tracking things a little bit closer to home here, things that are affecting us right now, there was a shooting overnight in North Omaha, and this guy got shot three times that we know of, but we were told later they had four wounds, so either three or four gunshots, it sounds like. This guy was in pretty bad shape, had to be rushed off to CHI Health. Uh, the good news is we're hearing he will survive. And then meanwhile, we also have a pedestrian accident where we actually had a viewer send us in video uh, pretty intense stuff. This guy had just gotten hit by a car when this man and uh, a woman that he was with rushed to him and were checking his pulse. He is alive. We're told that he uh, damaged a lung and uh, sounds like he hurt his leg as well. The whole thing caught on camera. The driver that actually was behind the wheel hit him. Some conflicting reports about who may or may not have been at fault. So we're trying to get to the bottom of all that. We'll keep you updated on what's going on with that as well throughout the morning. Two and a half hours of news heading your way with Daybreak from 4.30 until 7. Really hope that you join us. Tune in.